Не растекаясь мыслью по древу, мы поблагодарим Райана за то, что он при, приехал к нам в такие тяжелые времена. Я имею в виду мороз и снежные заносы. Хотя он канадец, он с этим совсем превосходно знаком. И, и предлагаю начинать задавать вопросы. Кто первый? У нас 40 минут. Я думаю, мы будем вовремя. Да, пожалуйста. Да, здравствуйте. Георгий Каширин, телеканал Life News. Райан, здравствуй. А, прежде чем перейти к вопросу по фильму, хотел бы узнать, с кем у тебя получилось выпить рюмочку водки, а, как ты заявил в своем твиттере в Москве? Я Москва, но я очень водки. That's fair. I know. That's that's a tip. That's like going to Canada and not drinking beer. So for that, I'm very sorry. But the day is still young. I'm uh, not opposed to having some at lunch. Um, Ryan, чем по твоему такой супергерой может понравиться русскому зрителю? Well, I think you know Deadpool occupies a space in the Marvel universe that no other superhero has or could ever occupy, and. Um, You know, he's, I think, the most unique character ever written in the Marvel Universe. And frankly, I'm still surprised that the studio allowed us to make this movie. Um, I know how big superhero movies are here in, in Russia, and I know how popular they are all, all over the world. So, um, you know, I think Deadpool, what makes him uniquely qualified to capture viewers' hearts is the fact that when viewers watch Deadpool, uh, they feel like that's them up there. They know they're so savvy to comic book movies. And when, when they're seeing Deadpool go up there and actually sort of make fun of them or have make fun of himself, they, they feel like it's them. And I think that that's a, that's a special experience for the viewer right now, and it's, it's pretty rare to have that experience. Ты из Канады, как все знают, и ты поклонник хоккея. Как тебе сборная России по хоккею, и кто твой любимый российский хоккеист? Well, you know, when I, when I was growing up, we had uh, Larry Onoff come over to the Vancouver Canucks, and he was... He was huge for me. Pavel Bure, of course, was uh, a hero in Vancouver. I mean, he was one of the best hockey players to ever play. So um, I loved, I loved those guys. I mean, I loved watching them. Obviously, Canada and Russia are the two countries in the world that I think produce the most amount of hockey players uh, per capita. It's pretty shocking. But um, I wasn't the biggest hockey fan, so that's why I had to leave Canada. That's why they asked me to leave. Добрый день, Космару. Фильм основан на комиксах, а комиксы любят в основном мальчики. Чем будет фильм интересен для девушек, тем более, что он выходит накануне Дня Святого Валентина? I think, I think it's completely untrue that, that comic book movies are for boys. I, I know just as many girls that love them. Um, I know just as many girls that love them with or without a romantic angle. So I think we're selling our, our sisters short by saying you know, that, uh, that they need a sort of a Valentine's Day angle to, to see the movie. But, you know, I think people are, everybody's going to find something in the film. I mean, the movie, the movie sort of covered all the bases in terms of, uh, you know, action, comedy, romance. It's, uh, it's uh, the, the only thing that's, that, that I think distinguishes it, you know, from a proper sort of studio four quadrant kind of film is the fact that, you know, it's a little bit racier. It's uh, designed not exactly for little kids. So. Здравствуйте, Давид, меня зовут. Я хотел бы задать вопрос. Hello, Существует стереотип... Секундочку. Существует стереотип о комиксах. Люди считают, что они предназначены для детей. Они не серьезны, не могут рассказывать о чем-то серьезном. Действительно ли так? Вы согласны с этой позицией? Если нет, то объясните почему. Спасибо. I don't agree with that statement at all. I mean, I, if anything, I think comic book movies could serve to sort of laugh at themselves just a little bit more. I mean, so many of the characters that you see in the comic book films these days, they all talk like this. You know, that's very serious. So, um, I don't know, I, I, I think they're, I think it's nice to see them sort of lighten up occasionally. You know, Marvel tends to do that sometimes, and um, certainly DC has its moments of light as well, but um, no, I, I don't think they're, they're, they're aimed at kids at all. I think kids love them. But that's what makes comic book movies so ubiquitous and, and popular all over the world is that is that kids and adults enjoy them together. So you know when you go to a superhero movie and you sit in the theater, typically you, you have a nice mix of both. So. 
Привет, Райан. Скажи, пожалуйста, почему а тебе удалось сыграть классного супергероя только с четвертого раза? И можно ли сделать селфи с тобой, когда все закончится? А вам не понравился опыт Райана в зеленом фонаре? Вау. Well, fourth time's a charm. Um, yeah, I, uh, you know, superhero movies are like, they're a genre unto themselves. They're not just, you know, superhero movies. They're, they're, they're sort of, I liken them to, you know, doing a comedy or a drama or, you know, there's a sort of a vast spectrum of movies that can fall within that, in that category. But, uh, no, I've had wildly differing degrees of success in comic book movies and, and uh, you know, I'm really lucky that I got to play this one. But this one's been an 11-year journey for me. I've been trying to get this made for 11 years with the studio and, and, and heard the word no so many times I forgot what it meant. So, uh, you know, getting that green light and being allowed to make this movie a year ago was, for me, was like a dream come true. What's that? The selfie? Maybe we can do it after the press conference? But sure, I'm happy to do it. I just don't. I just think we can. Ryan, здравствуйте. Меня зовут Ольга, Hi. журнал Стархи. Ра, у меня такой вопрос. В фильме ваш герой очень много и так достаточно скабрезно шутит. А в жизни вы вообще любите юмор, часто ли шутите, можете как бы постебаться над своими друзьями, например? Uh, well, Deadpool, the reason I've been attached to him for 11 years is that he's sort of like an alter ego for me. I, I have, I, sometimes I have trouble turning it off. So I like humor, I like dark humor, I like light humor, so I like it all. Um, you know, I think, I think, yeah, the problem, my wife sometimes says that to me. She says, am I, who am I talking to right now, Deadpool or my husband? So it's, uh, it's a character that's very close to my heart, maybe a little too close, yeah, some might say. Yeah. Oh, that's very, that's nice. That's a horse's head. This is a, in, in America, the mafia does this. It means you're about to die. It's a bad omen in America. They leave it in your bed. Thank you for this. Thank you very much. I, I did not expect this. I don't think anybody expected it. Maybe after the conference we'll try it out. Давайте правой стороне дадим, пожалуйста, слово. Можно? Hello, good morning, Ryan. Nice to. Очень приятно видеть вас в Москве. И как ваша жена отнеслась к фильму? И вы в жизни такой же бедес, как она думает? Wow, in real life, absolutely not. But uh, she loved it. She just saw it actually last week for the first time. We showed, we did a fan screening of the film, and um, and uh, that was pretty amazing. For her. I mean, she's been on this road with me for a long time, and and uh, uh, I know she's very proud to see that this movie was not only made the way I hoped it would be made, but the way all comic book fans and, and fans of Deadpool hoped it would be made. Um, it was made the first time, sort of the wrong way, in, in Wolverine uh, origins years ago, and. Um, you know, while that was no fault of the filmmakers, that was more of a studio decision, still, it feels very, there's some retribution in, in getting to make it the right way now. So she, she was thrilled. She was just bent over laughing the whole, the whole movie, and she loved it. Доброе утро. Добро пожаловать в Россию. Меня зовут Марсель Македонский. У меня вопрос. Вы играли Зеленого Фонаря, и сейчас вы сыграли Дэдпула. Можете сравнить эти два опыта. Спасибо. Well, they're difficult to compare. Deadpool had a script. Uh, Green Lantern didn't, and um, you know, but that sometimes happens in, in films, you know. But Green Lantern had a poster, and an actor, and a director. Uh, but the studio just felt like we'll sort of figure it out as we go, and that's a really difficult. Those are difficult circumstances to to work under and to produce something quality under. So, um, Green Lantern was frustrating to make, although everybody worked as hard as they could on the movie. It was still very frustrating for us because I don't think uh, by anyone's measure it really lived up to what it was supposed to be. 
but Deadpool's been, we wrote the script six years ago myself and Red Reese and Paul Wernick uh, all together and, and uh, you know, we, we've had it in place this whole time. I mean, very little has even changed in the script in the six years until we got the green light. So this film went on a really weird journey, which was the studio just kept saying no and no and no. And then we, they gave us a little bit of money after we wrote a great script and they said, make a test reel, you can show us something. So they, we made this little test footage, which they also just ignored for another three years. And then it somehow, you know, a year and a half ago, leaked onto the internet and the fans saw it and they went crazy for it. And the studio was strong-armed. I mean, the fans are the reason we got this movie made. They own this movie. They, they forced the studio to say yes and they forced the studio to give us just, just enough money to make it. And we did, so, great. Кстати, о производстве. В картине Дэдпул Райан выступает, выступает еще и в роли продюсера. Может быть, имеет смысл спросить, это новая специальность в кинематографе для Райана? Well, no. I mean, some actors do that occasionally. This is a little different because Deadpool I developed as well as starred in. So it was a, it was a slightly different road than a lot of actors take. But, um, you know, I had a very specific idea how it needed to be made, and I had a very specific idea on how to use the very small amount of money that the studio gave us. I mean, they gave us a, a, a you know, the budget that most superhero movies would use on illegal drugs. Uh, uh, so, we, and that's all we had to make our movie. But, you know, having a visual effects coordinator as a, as a director allowed us to basically put a movie that looked like a $150 million movie on the screen, even though we shot it for next to nothing. Uh, and producing that movie was part of the reason I needed to, to, to be there in that, in that capacity because, you know, every dime, every cent, every penny uh, for this film needed to be on the screen. And, and in a lot of movies there can sometimes be quite a bit of waste, so uh, it was partly that. It was also creative. I just wanted to make sure. I'd been down this road with the studio before where I played Deadpool and they screwed it up, frankly, and I wanted to be there to make sure that what we put on the screen makes the, the, the most die-hard of fan, uh, Deadpool fan, happy. And, and that's what I was doing there as a producer. Райан, здравствуй, Анна Окунь, Радио России. Во-первых, позволь поздравить тебя с этим успехом, ты добился этого фильма. В том числе, я думаю, от лица многих девушек, которые тоже сейчас дежурят под окнами. И мой вопрос в следующем. Дэдпул получился очень жестким фильмом. Как ты думаешь, повлияет ли он на остальную индустрию фильмов по комиксам, будут ли они более жесткие? И вторая часть моего вопроса. А если бы не было вот этой вот разницы в правах, с кем из всей огромной семьи Marvel ты бы хотел сделать тема? Не секрет, что многие ждут тебя с человеком пухом. Вау, Спайдермен. Спайдермен. I'd like to high five him right in the face, but uh, that's more complicated than it sounds because it's. You know, these are different studios that own the rights and all that sort of thing, so I let them figure it out. But there are plans for some Deadpool team-up uh, stuff, stuff I can't really comment on right now, but um, I do know that, that, you know, Hollywood is very famous for, they'll just copy whatever works. So by introducing a solo X-Men universe character like Deadpool and it being a rated R in the United States and 18 plus here, you know, when that works, then suddenly you're going to see a lot more of them. You know, if that works, that's 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 just how it how it how, how it goes down in Hollywood. So, um, you know, you might you might see more comic book movies trying that out. I don't think you're going to see the Avengers being a you know hard rated R, <laughs> but um, that would be sort of suicidal for Marvel. But uh, I think you'd probably see, see some other kind of uh, lighter ancillary characters try that out. You know, it'd be nice to see a Wolverine movie rated R. It'd be nice to see a X Force movie as well at some point rated R. So. Ну, давайте правая сторона опять. Райан, uh, здравствуйте. Uh, я тут. Oh, <laughs> Где это метро, Любовь Егорова. Um, если бы зеленый фонарь oh. подрался бы с Дэдпулом, кто из них победил? Вау, это очень хороший вопрос. Я думаю, это очень хороший вопрос. Я думаю, что Дэдпул выиграет. Я думаю, что Дэдпул выиграет. I think Deadpool would probably infuriate Green Lantern to the point where Green Lantern would probably take his own life with his magic ring. I'm guessing. 
Yeah. Еще один вопрос. Ты уже живешь с Дэдпулом 11 лет. Я уверена, что ты с ним породнился. Вот это твой первый визит в Москву. Как тебе, Райну, Москва? Что тебя удивило в Москве? И как Дэдпулу Москва? И что его удивило в Москве и москвича? Oh, well, I'm surprised that, that people know Deadpool this well here. You know, he's big. They, they love him. Um, you know, you, whenever you go to a new country for the first time, you, you, you just assume nobody knows who the hell you are or anything like that. So it's been nice having such a warm welcome here. And, and uh, the, one of the great pleasures of my job is that I get to go to countries and places that, that, and see them in ways that I never would before. So. Um, to come to Moscow has been really special for me. I love it. I'm mean, my brother is here as well, and, and we uh, we wandered all around all around the city yesterday, and it was just the only, my only sadness is that we couldn't get to St. Petersburg. I'd love to see St. Petersburg. And I love the Russian people. They're the, among the toughest people I think on the planet, and I and I, I so I admire them greatly for that. And, yeah. Дэдпул шутит по поводу актера Райана Рейнольдса. Кто придумал эту шутку? И вы правда считаете, что Райан Рейнольдс это актер, которого берут в первую очередь за лицо? That was my joke. Most of the jokes that involve me or Green Lantern are me that I've come up. But no, I just think in that moment I think I make fun of another celebrity, and I thought I can't do that without also making fun of myself. So you balance it out a little bit like that. But the writing experience in the movie has been a lot of fun. I think I think people are really going to love the extras, the home entertainment extras after the movie's come and gone. And there, for every joke, we wrote ten more, and then there are some jokes that will have us all arrested, which I don't know we'll ever see the light of day. Uh, some jokes that I, I do believe the U.S. government would have me killed if I said out loud. <laughs> so <laughs> I hope some of them get to see some some action at some point. But it was such a, the movie was just gave us so many possibilities. We could say or do anything. I mean, that's the real superpower of Deadpool is that he gets to say or do anything, anything he wants. Um, in in a Marvel kind of X Men universe, which was really special, so we loved it. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Марина. Hello. Скажите, пожалуйста, много ли было на съемочной площадке импровизации и сколько из этого вошло в итоговый монтаж фильма? Um, a lot of them are just accidents. A lot of them are just me goofing around. There's, I think there's a line where I say, you know, uh, uh, I, I say it's funny how there's only two of you ever here at the X Mansion. It's almost like the studio couldn't afford another X Men. I mean, these are things I'm just joking to sort of bother the president of the studio back in Los Angeles. I don't expect them to be in the movie, but they ended up in the movie because they just worked. So um, there's hundreds and hundreds of those, and you know, I, some of them are mine, some of them are T.J. Miller's, some of them are the writers. Some of the, everybody's just sort of working together. And it's um, myself, Tim Miller, Rhett Reese, and Paul Warner are the guys that have been there since the beginning, and we all just kind of huddle up every day and come up with hundreds of different things to do. So it's just like a big sandbox. I mean, the, the whole movie was just playing in a sandbox or a playground. It was it was really a wonderful way to work. Yeah. Уходим налево, да, пожалуйста. Правильно, добрый день. Герасимов Вячеслав, фестиваль Хоми Кон, Санкт-Петербург, Россия. Роберт Де Ниро научился играть на саксофоне перед съемками Нью-Йорк, Нью-Йорк. Натали Портман занялась балетом ради роли в Черном лебеде. Рай, на какие личные достижения пошел ты в процессе подготовки к роли Дэдпула и какие черты его характера остались у тебя после завершения съемок? Спасибо. Oh, wow. <laughs> Um, uh, I can probably uh, uh, swear in more colorful ways than I ever could before. Uh, I could insult people to the point of them drawing blood. Uh, I don't know if I, I didn't, I didn't learn how to pick up any instruments or anything, but we did have a, um, one of the stunt guys on there who taught me how to do a standing backflip. That was a dream come true for me. I've always wanted to be able to do a backflip just standing on the ground, and he taught me that. I would do it here, but my pants would rip off, and it would be very embarrassing. Yeah. Oh, no. Давайте право. Hello. Доброе утро, Райан. Меня зовут Иван. Я хотел бы сказать следующее. Я уверен в успехе этого фильма "Дэдпул". Уверен будет вторая, третья часть. Но если будет, наверное, четвертая, захотели ли вы дальше сниматься в продолжении или выберете более драматическую роль в другом фильме? Спасибо. 
Uh, I, 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 like I said, this has been so long for me. I, I love it. I've been playing Deadpool for 10 years already, even though just nobody was filming it. So I'd be fine filming another 10 years officially on the clock. Um, I love it. You know, I, I really genuinely love it. And I think it comes across on screen. I love this opportunity. I love what I do. Um, you know, even the days where I had to wear the scar makeup head to toe, uh, you know, and that's generally eight or nine hours in a makeup chair and then another 16 hours on a film set. So some of these days were 25 hours long. I still was having the time of my life, so I would, uh, I would happily do this until, until I'm in a wheelchair. Welcome. Uh, здравствуйте. Таня Нонс, Star Sketch. Uh, значит, uh, во время съемок вы встретили мальчика Тони. Он является юным фанатом Дэдпула. И вопрос такой, собира... собираетесь ли вы дальше посещать различные больницы или благотворительные мероприятия, чтобы как-то поддерживать своих юных фанатов? Спасибо. Yeah. Young kids who have cancer, and and you know, you have, the only problem is is that you sort of go, okay, well, I want to be involved in these kids' lives, and I want to meet them, but are their parents going to be upset about the rating or or the content in the movie or that sort of thing? But these kids are are in such a you know a, a bad situation that their parents don't give a shit if their kid watches the movie. Or, so I've I've had the opportunity to meet so many of these kids that, that are, are, are obviously very ill, but just getting that opportunity to kind of brighten their day for a little while is, for me, is just such a dream come true. I had so many of them on set when we were shooting. I put two of them in the film. Um, I just, the, the first person to ever see the movie actually was a kid named Connor who lives in uh, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, and his wish through Make-A-Wish Foundation was to see the movie. And obviously with the, the time situation with a lot of kids that are sick, you you got to get there right away. And so he was the first kid that saw the movie about, about three weeks ago. And, in his, uh, in his hospital room, and it was, it was just a blast. For me, it was the greatest greatest experience in the world, and it makes the job so much better. I know that sounds a little cheesy and hokey, but I, I, I love that part. I want to continue to, to do as much as I can for those kids, because I think they see the character as, a, as, some, as wish fulfillment, as someone that they wish they could, they could be, and someone, an attitude that they wish they could have while, while they're going through their own struggle. Я здесь. Добро пожаловать в Россию. I'm here too. Скажите, пожалуйста, скажите, пожалуйста, в Дэдпуле вы играли вместе с Джиной Караны, и я думаю, что многие из находящихся здесь знают о ее бойцовском прошлом. Больно ли вам было от ее ударов? И второй вопрос, насколько сложнее играть комедийную роль или все-таки драматическую? Спасибо. Uh, well, Gina, Gina Carano is a very talented fighter, uh, and we, we, she plays Angel Dust in the film, and, and that was exciting for me. And I, I'm very physical. I love getting down and dirty. I love doing as many of the stunts myself as I could. But there's a scene where I'm kind of hanging off of a, my hands are tied, and I'm hanging, and she's punching me in the ribs. And I, I remember, and I say this to a lot of actors, I say, make a little contact, you know, just you know, a little bit, nothing crazy or anything like that. And she just didn't want to do that. She didn't feel comfortable. I finally had to beg her. I said, just give me just a little bit. It's okay, don't worry. It makes it look real or something. I felt I could almost see my dead grandfather after she hit me. I mean, that was, I don't know why she doesn't continue fighting. Because she's very good at it. Uh, she can punch very, very hard. And that was, a, that was a, an experience I wasn't happy to do again. Um, but what's funny about these kinds of fighters is that the nicest people they're so much nicer than a, a pacifist. Um, so <laughs> she's just when you meet her, she's just all puppy dogs and ice cream. You think she's going to be this tough girl, but uh, no, she was she was uh, she was absolutely amazing. And you had a second part of your question, which was what, what was that? I missed that. The second part. Какая роль легче драматическая или комедийная? Oh, uh, both are very. You know, comedy is is much more technical than drama. Drama is, you know, just anything goes, you know, but both have to be steeped in honesty in order to, to resonate with an audience. So um, they're, both, they're both difficult, but I enjoy them both. I've, had, I've been lucky to kind of be able to do both. Ryan, good morning. Hello, my name is Victor, Rolling Stone. 
Ты сказал, что тебе очень нравится Россия, и ты под большим впечатлением от русских людей, вот немножечко фантазии, импровизации. Скажи, пожалуйста, а что бы ты делал, если бы Дэдпул был русский? Был бы он, не знаю, например, жителем Петербурга и сотрудником Эрмитажа, или, или Old Russian Tradition, водка, балалайка, баня и прочее. Вот. Как, как yeah. ты видишь, интересно. Well, uh, I think Deadpool would make a very good Russian, to be honest. Uh, I know Colossus is a good Russian in our movie, but um, no, I think, I think Deadpool would probably... I think, I have a feeling, though, after a few years, you guys might ask him to leave. I think he'd get into a lot of trouble here. Russia is a... I've, 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 in the very small amount of time I've been here, I've seen you, you could get in a lot of trouble here. Uh, uh, it's a, it's, it's one of the, one of those cities that has some of the most beautiful architecture in the world, and there's so much to do. And but what a nightlife, you know. I think Deadpool would probably take over the nightlife here. And, uh, yeah, it'd get, it'd get ugly very quick. Yeah. Oh, uh, I think we're gonna try to do that. I don't. I, it, I, I'm not in charge of the schedule. So I'm happy to do a selfie if we have the time. I'm happy to do a thousand selfies if we have the time. So, yeah. Мы можем закончить на пять минуточек раньше пресс-конференцию и пофотиться. Oh, my brother's in the front row. There he is. That's my brother. There he is. There, yeah, there he goes. Yeah. Yeah. He's a police officer. When I was younger, he handcuffed me to the fridge. That's так что ведите себя хорошо. Yeah. Hello. Райан, я хотела спросить, не было ли на площадке конфликта между Райаном Рейнольдсом продюсером и Райаном Рейнольдсом артистом? Например, у Рейнольдса актера какой-то непомерно yeah. раздутый райдер, а у продюсера ограниченный бюджет. Или Рейнольд сам хочет делать все трюки, а продюсеру важно, чтобы он был сел. Как решались такие конфликты? Спасибо. Да, есть немного проблем там, да. Продюсер думает, что Райан Рейнольдс это абсолютный асхол. Прима Донна, его трейлер слишком большой. Uh, no, they got along all right. They had the same goals, I think, so, you know. But I know how that is. Sometimes you have to kind of reconcile the two. A lot of producers and actors don't like each other, but, uh, yeah, the producer won on this one. I bossed myself around very well. <laughs> oh, there was some, yeah, there was some fun. Well, the great thing about being a producer is that, that you're, you know, when, when you work a 25-hour day, you're allowed to, the next day you're allowed to say, I think I'm going to come in an hour later. So, that was nice. Yeah. В Америке он будет подарить детям ар, у нас в России он 18 плюс идет, когда его вообще запретили. Были у вас такие... 18. Были у вас потребности и возможности немножечко смягчить юмор и некоторые сыны взрослых в Дэдпуле, для того, чтобы снизить эти Спасибо. Да, это очень хороший вопрос. Да, first of all, producers, by and large, in my experience, do absolutely nothing, except occupy more oxygen on the set and eat more food. Uh, but some of them, you know, can be very instrumental and, and you know, I, I think if they're really into the material and if they really love it, they can guard it and safeguard it. And that's, that was my job, so. Um, but yes, there was tremendous pressure to make the movie PG-13, to make the movie uh, um, for kids. Um, you know, the studio said, you can have so much more money if you make this for kids. Um, and there's been a lot of news, in the news media, there's been a lot about parents writing petitions wanting us to do a PG-13 version of the film. Um, but we just wouldn't be doing the character justice and we, we, we accepted a much smaller amount of money to make the movie so we could do it the right way. So we didn't want to sacrifice that. And if that means losing some of, some of, some of the revenue or some of the audience, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. We, we wanted to make the, the Deadpool the right way. Um, and that's all that mattered to us. Да, пожалуйста. Здравствуйте, Надежда Маркалова, стартфильм.ру. Расскажите, пожалуйста, немножко о процессе съемок. Может быть, что было самым сложным во время исполнения трюков или что-нибудь со съемочной площадкой? Спасибо. 
Uh, I think the most difficult day was 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 um, the days where we shot in the in the warehouse that was on fire. Uh, there's a lo large fight scene between Deadpool and Ajax, and I'm not wearing any clothes, and that's just a, already a nerve wracking uh, uh, experience. We sort of drew a little bit from Eastern Promises, the Cronenberg movie. There, just we there was a, a fight scene between Viggo Mortensen and several other guys where he's naked, and we we sort of felt like. There's nothing on, on the planet more vulnerable than a naked man fighting, and, and also scary. Um, like if I had a home intruder or something in the middle of the night, I think running at him naked would be much more frightening than if I were wearing a nightgown. Um, so, you know, it's a, a we, we, that was, I would say, the hardest scene to shoot, though, because it was hot. Everything was on fire. I was covered in makeup, head to toe, scar makeup for Deadpool. And um, the day, like I said, was, I think, tw that was a 25-hour shooting day for me. The crew worked 15, but um, yeah, they're long. You know, those are tough scenes. The stunt stuff is usually the toughest. Um, and then the other part is the you know the screenwriting process of this movie extends well into the editing room, and that's um, that was the other thing that was I think most challenging for us was really we're dealing with a fractured narrative in Deadpool, where we're going back in time and forwards in time and different things like that. So the editing process was a group effort that that we we were living in this room for four straight months. Райан, привет. Меня зовут Стас Оксани. Ты из Бордо? Алло. Такой вопрос по поводу костюма. Вот во время съемок он плотно, в принципе, прилегал к тебе. Каково было бегать, прыгать постоянно? То есть поделали у тебя, не знаю, там соски натирал или еще что-то вот в таком вот плане. Каково было? You mean you can imagine I might be uncomfortable running around in a red body condom? Yeah, it is. It's as uncomfortable as you can imagine. Now, the suit was engineered. I mean, it's engineering to make a suit like that. And um, the first time I saw it, I cried. And I'm not, that's not, I'm not even making that up. I genuinely cried because the journey had been so long. And I'd always dreamed that if we got to make Deadpool, the suit would look, would be the most faithful adaptation from comic book to film ever made. And uh, Russ Schenkel, the guy who created the suit, he did that. And that made me cry. Uh, and then I hated Russ, Russ for the rest of the shoot every time I wore it because it was the tightest suit you can imagine. My eyes would bulge putting it on every morning. And the hardest part was when we went through nine of the suits shooting the movie. I would destroy them. There were so many stunts and suits would get destroyed. Uh, the hardest part was when you put on a new suit. So it takes about three days for it to warm up enough that you can really move normally. So for the first couple of days you feel like you're, uh, you're you know, wearing a, a suit made of wood and steel. But my nipples were fine. Да, пожалуйста, слева. Тут дама. А есть микрофон у вас? Да, пожалуйста. Нет, тогда право. Добрый день, супруга Гаджиева. Добрый день, супруга Гаджиева. Ромита с точка ру. У меня такой вопрос. Я вот здесь. Hello. Hello. У меня такой вопрос. Значит, многие папы актеры жалуются на то, что во время вот из занятости вот на съемках фильма они мало времени проводят со своими детьми. Как у вас вот сложилось с дочкой? Вот значит время вот во время вот съемок и время приглашения вот со своим ребенком. Насколько вам удается вот это все совместить? Спасибо. I have a daughter. I'm kidding. I'm joking. Um, I gotta go. Uh, no, it was great. It was fine. I, my whole family comes with me. My wife and I, uh, we don't work at the same time. And my daughter doesn't work because she's one. Uh, so no, we, we were just on set the whole time together, and we, we try to do that. We try to just move as a family, and it's you know it's one of the sacrifices. Uh, of the job, which I'm happy to take. It's, it means that you know neither of us work maybe on everything we want to work on, but that's fine. It's, those are what we call good problems to have, you know. So, um, yeah, we I, I I got to see her all the time. I mean, she she would find it a little disturbing seeing me in the scar makeup. Uh, she cried the first couple of times because my voice sounds the same, but I look like you know a testicle had a fight with a punching bag. So. Продолжая тему семьи, Райан сказал, что брат его офицер полиции, а Райан консультировался со своим братом офицером полиции, когда готовился к съемкам. Yes, I did on the movie Safe House. He helped me a lot. Um, I was playing a CIA officer, obviously, which is a slightly different function than what my brother does, but uh, he helped me a lot. He he gives me a lot of crap about gun stuff. He's like, you're holding your gun wrong. 
Yeah. Hold your gun right. Those are the things that really bother him. But otherwise, no, he's, he's very helpful. Скажите, пожалуйста, есть такой комикс "Дэдпул убивает классическую литературу". Да, если бы его экранизировали следом, вы бы прошлись по русской классике, может быть, бросили Анну Каренин под поезд или участвовали в войне мира или вязались в наш фольклор, там с богатырями вы задусили. You wanna see a fight between Deadpool and Dostoevsky? Почему бы нет? Let's do it. И еще. Get your iPhones out. We'll shoot it today. И еще. Shoot it at the Kremlin. Um, yeah, that would be fun. I mean, they've done in the comics they've done Deadpool kills the Marvel universe, so I, you know, why not do the, the literary universe? I mean, certainly uh, uh, Russia is no stranger to great literature, so I'm imagining we could just do installments for a decade only in Russia before we move on to to uh, London, England. Yeah. Еще вопрос. Любимое блюдо Дэдпула чемичанга. Если бы он жил в России. Полюбил бы он пельмени, холодец, что шаверму может Что понравилось Райду? Да, что вам понравилось Райду из еды, из местной? He would eat all of the Ural dumplings, right? I don't, I don't know. He's, I, 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 I imagine he would, you know, chimichanga is is a funny one because Deadpool doesn't actually like chimichangas. He likes saying the word chimichanga. So we'd have to find a, if you could suggest a Russian meal that just sounds kind of funny, I'm sure that's the one Deadpool would go for. Borscht is too easy. You gotta go with something better than that. <laughs> what is it? Somebody yelled it out. Oh, Puri, okay. That Hacha Puri. This is Georgia. It's time to make the Hacha fucking Puri. Последний вопрос. Конкурс на самый хулиганский вопрос, пожалуйста. Да, пожалуйста. Райан, привет. Хочу тебя спросить о твоих фанатах. Но для начала ну, должен тебе передать личное hello из Самары и девушки Маши. Она меня попросила. Вот. В одном интервью ты сказал, что Дэдпул самый близкий тебе персонаж. Скажи, а ты к другим фанатам его не ревнуешь? Что вы имеете в виду? Ну, не испытывает ли Райан ревность? к своему персонажу, когда кто-то другой им восторгает. Когда фанаты Дэдпула, да. их больше, да, чем фанаты Райана. Да, например, и так далее. Да. А, окей. О, 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 я вижу, да. Ну, я married, Дэдпул не... Так что, если они любят Дэдпула, они могут иметь Адама. Да. Спасибо. Да, я люблю это. Я люблю, когда люди волнуются о Дэдпуле. Я люблю, когда люди волнуются как друзья, сексуально. Just buddies, whatever. They can have Deadpool. He's, he's pretty great. Спасибо большое. Давайте поблагодарим Райана. Спасибо, что приехали.